in part a we need to find the definite integral of f from 0 through 3 ft dt that is basically the area under the curve of f from 0 through 3 0 here okay through 3 3 is here okay 0 through 3 area under the curve so we have this area we need to determine this area okay so look at this this is a unit is square so this area is one another unit is square one and this will be just half and here's another half one two half half one so three so this is three in the same way find this definite integral three through seven so basically the area under the curve in this case area above the curve from three through seven okay this area from four to five we get a full square so one let me use is one one again this is half half so one two three this is three but this area is below the t-axis so due to orientation we write negative three okay in the same way six to eight six to eight let me erase this part okay so six to eight six to eight that means this area below the t-axis and this area okay this is half negative half in fact below the t-axis half positive half so the resultant is zero negative half plus half is zero and from zero through eight so everything zero through eight we know zero through three in part a so this is three plus we know three through seven in part b three through seven that's negative three plus okay now we are down to three zero through three plus three through seven now remains seven through eight and seven through eight this is just half negative three positive three cancel so basically this is half okay now next e g is given in this way we need to find what is g2 so g2 replace x by 2 so 0 to 2 basically writing this function x replaced by 2 f t dt so this definite integral is same as finding the area under the curve this f from 0 to 2 let me erase this part so in this time we are interested in finding from 0 through 2 so basically this area and we already know this is 1 this is 1 and this is half so 2 and half 2.5 okay next at what values of x at what value of x does g have a local max mean so whenever we need to find local max mean or where g is increasing decreasing i would like to do the uh, interval test sign chart so let's make sign for g so we need g prime and we conclude about g and look at this graph it starts from 0 through 8 so this is 0 8 now we need to find g prime okay derivative of g but this is f so what is the relationship between g and f that is given from this integral okay g is definite integral of f from 0 to x now let's find the derivative of this function and we know from the fundamental theorem of calculus part 1 when we find the derivative that means derivative of this part this derivative will cancel the antiderivative just survives the f we know from this one g prime is same as f so g prime is same as f 
so first we need to find where g prime is zero that means where f is zero let's look at the graph this is the graph of f f is zero at three and seven so three and seven are critical numbers for g on zero through three zero through three f is above this axis that means f is positive f is positive means g prime is positive similarly this is below so negative 7 to 8 above positive so where the derivative is positive the function is increasing decreasing increasing now from this interval test or sign chart look at 3 so we get g has a maximum at 3 and minimum at 7 local maximum at 3 local minimum at 7 it wants local maximum so at x equals 3 explanation here is the explanation on what intervals is g increasing look at this increasing on 0 through 3 and 7 through 8 in fact g is decreasing on 3 through 7 and g has local minimum at 7 